I'm Farmer Joe. I was just looking at this strange animal and boy, has it got some unusual characteristics. That makes me wonder, have you ever noticed how so many plants and animals have such strange shapes and sizes and colors? For example, have you ever seen a giraffe? Have you ever noticed that giraffes have very long necks? Why do you think their necks are so long? And would you want to have a neck like that? And what about elephants? They have the longest nose of any animal on the planet. But why are their noses so long? Can you imagine having a nose that long? Would you want one? And what about whales? You ever notice they got flippers instead of feet? Would you want to have flippers like that? And what about plants? Have you ever heard of a baobab tree? Baobabs live in Africa and they have these giant swollen tree trunks. Why do they have such big trunks? Well, all this makes me wonder, why do animals and plants have so many strange characteristics? Have you ever wondered about that? Come on, let's go find out. I've always wanted to go to Africa. Do you want to go to Africa? Do you know where Africa is? Africa is one of the seven continents we have on our planet, and it's a very interesting one. Come on, let's check it out. So here we're in Eastern Africa, in a country called Kenya. And check out all the animals out here. Look at those lions. Those are the kings of the African plains. And look at the zebra. What funny stripes. And look there, what are those? Those are giraffes. Now, Lions have big teeth because they attack and eat other animals. Crocodiles also have big teeth because they too are predators. Their teeth help them to feed. But what about giraffes? What do they eat? Do you see them feeding? They eat the leaves on trees. So why do you think they have those long necks? That's right, so they can reach leaves high up in the trees where other animals can't reach them. And that way, they don't need a ladder. Now, let's go look at some other African animals. Look, there's a herd of elephants. And check out their long noses. <laughs> elephants don't have long necks like giraffes, but they have these giant noses that we call trunks. What do you think elephants do with their noses? That's right, they use them like we do to breathe. But look at this. What do you think that elephant is doing? It's drinking with its nose. It's like a giant straw that the elephant needs because its head is so high off the ground. Elephants also use their trunks to gather food just like we would use our hands. Now let's go travel underwater. Have you ever seen a whale? Have you ever met one in person? Well, let's go meet one. Did you know that the blue whale is the largest animal on Earth? And that it weighs more than 24 elephants weigh? 
and that some whales can live more than 200 years. And that other whales can dive nearly two miles down into the ocean and stay underwater for up to two hours. How long can you stay underwater? Whales are amazing, but did you notice how they don't have a trunk like an elephant? You know why? Because whales just have to open their mouths to drink water. And do you notice that whales don't have long necks like giraffes? That's because they feed on animals in the ocean and don't need long necks to feed in trees. But did you also notice that unlike lions and elephants and giraffes, that whales don't have arms or legs? Why do you think that is? That's because just like lions, elephants and giraffes are adapted to life on the African plains. Whales are adapted to life underwater. Millions of years ago, their ancestors left the land and started living in water. Little by little, their legs evolved into flippers. Their flippers would be useless on land, but under the sea, their flippers allow whales to dive and swim. Now let's go back to Africa for a moment and take a look at some pretty unusual trees. Have you ever seen one of these trees? It's a baobab tree. Do you know how big their trunks are? Parts of Africa are often hot and dry where baobab trees live. So why do you think they have such swollen trunks? What do you think might be in those trunks? That's right, water. Up to 80% of a baobab's tree trunk is made up of water. So basically, each tree is like a big water storage tank. A single tree can hold up to more than 1,000 gallons of water. So just like whales and elephants and giraffes, baobab trees have adapted themselves to their environment. In this case, a very dry environment. All these plants and animals have evolved adaptations so they can better survive. Without their long necks, giraffes would not be able to survive in Africa. If lions had short stubby teeth, they couldn't successfully hunt other animals. If whales lived on land, they would be unable to move because their flippers are meant to be used underwater and would be useless on land. So the next time you see an animal or a plant that looks strange to you, I want you to ask yourself, I wonder what adaptation that animal or plant is using in order to be better able to survive. I'm Farmer Joe. See you next time. And remember, the Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has life on it. Which is why the Earth is the only planet that has such beautiful blues and greens. So let's remember to protect our planet and all the life on it. Bye!